I think that our I think that our ideals as far as like being in a band and what we wanted to achieve were in the right spot. Um, we weren't we weren't money hungry. I think we were really stoked that we were actually going to make a living, you know, and paying our rent from being in a band because all of us had been. I mean, Mangade was ten. He's ten years older than I am, and he had been making music forever. Same with Pete Hines. Like they deserved to be making music for a living. Pete Hines is a, you know, he's like the sickest drummer. Um, but, uh, um, yeah. And so I think, I think from, you know, cause coming from this like hardcore scene, I think people had like, you start a band and you, and you start playing small shows and you build, if, if it catches on, you kind of build up this thing naturally. And I think we like, once I joined the band, we played shows around New York for 10 months and bam, we got signed. And then it was like, but I think that's just the, the, you know, the sort of climate at the time, uh, all kinds of bands were getting signed. We just happened to be one of those bands. And then it was interesting because we, we had to figure out, they immediately put us out on these crazy tours with big bands, which felt a little odd. And I think at some point we were like, wait, we need to dial this back and play shows with bands that are more like us and build a fan base in a more organic way. I think by the time we we had those ideas, we were about half broken up. 